In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to deep condition your hair to maximize your hair's overall hair growth. Be sure to watch the video from the start to the finish so that you don't miss out on any key components. Hey guys, I'm Kozak. I'm gonna be showing you how to properly deep condition your hair today. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post once a week, every single week. So subscribe with the bell icon so that you don't miss out on when I post. I make videos on hair care, skin care, fitness, fashion, health, all of that good jazz. So go ahead and subscribe with the bell icon so that you don't miss out on this amazing content. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. You're gonna need a couple of things. First thing first is you're going to want a deep conditioner, of course. Next thing you're gonna want is a processing cap. Um, which is basically kind of like a shower cap, but a thinner, um, more cheaper version. And the last thing you're gonna need is a deep conditioning cap or a heat cap, which is literally a microwavable bonnet, no exaggeration. Um, these are the products that I'm gonna be using. Oh, and of course you want a hair tie. Um, all right, this is what we're working with. Perfect, look great. All right, so just woke up, um, took my hair out of the twist the day before. So this is what my hair is looking like. You're going to want to go ahead and drench your hair with water. So you can use a spray bottle or literally hop in the shower and drench your head with water. Where did I go? What is wrong with me? Somebody please come get him. Why are you crouched in a corner? Anyways, bro, ch bro, chill. Why do you look, why are you always doing weird stuff? All right, so boom, you just hopped out the shower. Or you just freshly drenched your hair with a spray bottle. This is where you're going to want to start to finger detangle your hair. So if you have a whole lot of hair um, or if you have a good amount of hair, you want to actually finger detangle your hair. I'm rocking out the music here because I like to take my time when it comes to detangling my hair, especially when it's finger detangling your hair. Now, deep conditioning your hair helps with overall hair health and overall hair growth. So having healthier hair and more hydrated hair helps you to actually grow your hair. You're going to retain more length by preventing any sort of damage, splitting, split ends, etc. by having healthier overall hydrated hair. If you're new to deep conditioning your hair or deep conditioning your hair, something that's new to you, there's a whole lot of benefits to it. One, it just adds moisture into your hair. Two, it helps to restore the natural shine of your hair, helps with elasticity, helps to prevent hair damage, a whole lot of different benefits to it. So I highly recommend deep conditioning your hair if you haven't ever done it before, adding that into your like weekly routine. All right, after we're done finger detangling our hair here, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and part my hair into sections. Again, if you're working with more hair, I highly recommend parting your hair into sections. It helps you to evenly get the product evenly distributed throughout your entire hair versus just trying to mix it into like a jumbled mess there. So this is gonna be a lot better for you. So go ahead and part your hair into sections. You don't have to be the strongest um, at parting, just do your very best. I'm not the strongest at parting either. So you see me here, I'm just doing my best. So yeah, I highly recommend parting your hair and then you're gonna break it off into sections with a hair tie. So I'm working that part all the way through and then you can see how I kind of started to curve it to the side there. I'm creating my first like section there. I'm trying to get it as even as I can, I'm trying to get the part as equal as I can. So I'm pulling hair um, out of that part that doesn't need to be there. Boom, so this is basically what we're gonna be working with. The last thing that you really need to do here is you can go ahead and put a hair tie on that first little puff ball that you made there. And then you're gonna continue to work the part through. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up here to just conserve a little bit more on time because this is a little bit tedious. It does take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna just go ahead and speed that up there for us. This is actually a perfect time to remind you guys to go ahead and leave this video a like if you haven't already. I know you enjoyed the video so far, so go ahead and hit that like button. And again, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss out on when I post. I post once a week, every single week, so don't miss out on this amazing content that I'm delivering to you guys. All right, we're coming to the end of parting my hair here. Uh, you can see I broke my hair off into four sections there. Um, I tried to get it as even as I possibly could. It looks pretty even, so it's a decent amount. You don't have to be perfect at this again. You just wanna break it off into sections to make working each of those parts a little bit easier. We're gonna go ahead and grab our deep conditioner. I'm using Ali K Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. 
So you're gonna go ahead and apply your deep conditioner. You're gonna work that into your hair here. You're gonna try to get it as even as you can. Feel free to add more product as you go along. If you don't feel like you have enough product in your hair, if you don't feel like you applied enough, feel free to be generous with the deep condition here. Also, make sure to add a little bit more product to the ends of your hair because your, as your ends of your hair do need a little bit extra love because you know that's usually the problem areas when it comes to hairs with hair splitting and all of that good stuff. If you don't really know or have a deep conditioner that you use currently, highly would recommend Ali K's Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. I've been enjoying it a lot lately. I've liked a lot of their products as of late. You're continuing to go ahead and work that product through your hair there. You're trying to get a little closer to the roots, a little closer to the scalps, making sure all of your hair is covered and conditioned. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our comb, brush, pick whatever you use to detangle your hair, and you're going to go ahead and start detangling hair. You always wanna start with the very ends of your hair and then work your way up to the roots. Make sure you take your time with this. If you're if you're too aggressive with it, you're gonna tear out more hair that that even needs to come out. So be as gentle as you possibly can. Make sure you take your time. Make sure you're patient with your hair so that you're getting as little breakage, if any, um, as you're detangling your hair here. Now, as far as deep conditioning your hair goes, I deep condition my hair once a week, every single week. And as far as detangling my hair goes, when I do deep condition my hair, I like to actually detangle my hair. Throughout the rest of the week, I'll just finger detangle my hair, similar to how I was doing it in the beginning of this video when I was finger detangling my hair a little earlier, but I will actually fully detangle my hair with an actual brush once a week when I deep condition my hair. I find that a little easier when it when you're actually deep conditioning your hair. Your hair is a little softer, it's a little easier to work with, so highly recommend doing that at the beginning of your week. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the back. I showed you guys how to do the front I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the back and then cut to just a clip of my hair being finished to conserve on time. But same thing, you're gonna do the same thing you did with the front, condition it, work your way to the ends, detangling, all of that. That's what we're looking like afterwards. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab our processing cap. We're gonna apply that. Um, it's literally just like a thin shower cap or a disposable shower cap. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab your deep conditioning cap or your heated um, cap and actually toss that literally in the microwave. You're literally gonna microwave it. Um, I recommend following the instructions on the actual cap, but you literally toss it in the microwave for like a minute, uh, 30 seconds, and then uh, whatever. And then there's beads in there that actually heat up and then they stay heat heated for a while. So it actually adds like a heating aspect to your deep conditioning. All right, so you're just gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes after 30 minutes or whatever's instructed on your uh, deep conditioner. After 30 minutes, we're ready to go ahead and pop it off. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and take it off. Your hair should feel really good. It's gonna be um, very manageable in a sense, or like, like it's just gonna feel a little different. It's gonna feel just great, honestly. It just feels amazing. So you pop that off. Your hair is probably gonna be shaped in the processing cap, honestly, but you just stretch your hair out. Um, you, you just, you know, just, yeah, you just do that. <laughs> once, uh, once we're done, we're gonna go ahead and rinse the deep conditioner out. I know your hair feels great, but you actually have to wash that out. So we're gonna go ahead and wash that out of our hair. This is me after washing it out of my hair. What I like to do is apply just a lightweight conditioner to my hair after my deep condition. Just, you know, just give my hair a little bit added moisture. Um, I'm gonna work that in. I'm not gonna part my hair into sections this time. I'm gonna just leave it be. But um, yeah, just work that into your hair if you wanna apply. Um, a lightweight conditioner. I highly do recommend applying a conditioner after a deep condition just to kind of seal in what you um, what you did put in your hair. And um, and then yeah, I'll show you the finished product um, after I'm done working that into my hair here. All right, and this is what we're working with. This is what we're looking like. Finished product. Now I just recommend you dry your hair or let your hair air dry. I'm personally just gonna let my hair air dry. Don't really like adding heat to my hair too much. Um, so yeah, this is what we're working with, finished product. Again, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'm Kozak and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.